on Nigeria Davis, filmmaker, writer, director of Light in Dark Places, nominated by Emily Dell. Welcome to Play It Forward. Thank you for having me. But I want to get right down to it. Why yeah. the theme? You know, I mean, why why talk about this, you know, black, white, lesbian love affair? Why that? Because why not? It's not that we see this on the regular. Um, and so it was something that I wrote that was a throwback and a callback to that voice of being poetic. And um, it was a story that was deeply personal. Um, and it was just jumping off of the page for people. And so I said, let's make it so it can jump off the screen as well. So. Cool. So, um, you know, to get to the really the heart of the inspiration, it's kind of like there's so many themes and topics and they're all personal. And, you know, there's so many different personal sides and really to to get personal with you. You know, that's what I'm trying to do here is to say, well, well, what was it in your heart that that said, hey, you know, why tell this story in this particular way? Um, well, I had to, I feel like I had to make a calling card short and I felt like light and dark places could be that. Um, it's pretty much a testament to voice and vision as a director. Um, it wasn't, we didn't take a gorilla style approach to it. I mean, it's a really simple story. We have three characters, we have two locations. Um, most of it is, you know, voiceover. Um, we have one scene where there's um, a dialogue between two characters that happens at the end. And that the way, the creative approach was to, you know, create this space, this house where t both the past and the present would live simultaneously, um, mm -hmm. which made it a challenge to actually mm -hmm. shoot actually, both and post. The effects wise, I'm both a, a filmmaker um, as well as a, um, at what's called an agile coach. I develop software in my role in software development. I'm an agile coach. And this whole system and idea of agile is really interesting, fascinating, just a way of managing projects and running teams. And it's very similar to making films. And it comes from a few different rich traditions. And one of them is Toyota lean manufacturing. And so Toyota has this system and they ask why five times. Mm -hmm. They why? keep asking why, why, why. And finally, at the fifth time where they ask why, they feel like they can get to the heart of the why. So again, with like, why make this film? You know, you, you've told me about like your voice and it kind of is personal and it, it was like logistically possible. But in terms of your passion for this movie, you know, I don't feel that. You don't feel the passion. Yeah. So you're going to ask me why again. Yeah. Where's like, your passion for this story coming from? The passion for the story, I mean, you've seen it, and for those who haven't seen it, and hopefully will see it at some point, it is a love story between a woman and a woman. And like you mentioned, it's, it's you know, a black and a white woman. And honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to why it's, you know, not two black women or two white women or, it's black and white, but, um, so I don't have an answer for that. Uh, but the passion behind it is the way in which the story presents itself, the way in which it unfolds. And um, it's titled Light and Dark Places. You know, um, it's a string of all the things I just mentioned from being personal where, um, you know, I can take a deep dive into where that title even came from. My mom would always say growing up, what is done in the dark will come to the light, right? Yeah, it's from the Bible. Yes, uh, she's a very religious woman. And um, she would say that. And throughout my the course of growing up, there were always times where the light would shine into the dark and she would catch us, me and my siblings doing things that we were trying to like hide from her. And so, um, of course, I was kind of like leading this life that no one outside of a few friends really even knew about it. And wow. um, like just, you know, dating women and then just dating women, um, which was something that my family didn't know about. 
Wow. And um, I, coming from a personal situation, I was sitting down to write one night, um, kind of a hemming way of sorts. I had a couple of glasses of wine. I had some time. I was feeling very creative. And um, I was going through my drafts, email drafts, and there was a email draft to my last partner. And um, then I just had this thought like, wow, um, I have journals, I have all this data that once I leave this place and you know, there we were, I sat down and I called on that poetic voice in which to, we hear the, this isn't the first time I've killed myself off in a, in a, in a project of mine, but, um, she's reciting it's kind of like foreshadowing um the fall like the love and the life that she lived with this uh her, with her partner and their breakup and her death her untimely death and how at that point in time her partner would you know weep for her um and so it was just a call back to so many things that brought me to writing and filmmaking to begin with, um, the visuals, the words on the page, the the heart between the mother having to decide to what you know to either delete the email or send it to her partner, you know, mm -hmm. um, and having met her in the church during her her daughter's like wake, you know, um, mm -hmm. having done that. Yeah. So cool. Well, thank you for that. I totally can appreciate that. And I get it. And it makes sense. And, you know, it sounds like there's two huge themes. There is one. Um, I mean, the main one is, is the hiding of who you are and what and how you love and coming out with that and maybe coming out with that too late, possibly. And the healing that may take place there and the love that may have been missed out on there. And this other one is this clear theme of, um, uh, that's a racial theme just by making them black and white and saying like, I couldn't introduce you to my parents kind of thing. But um, that's that's not necessarily, you know, as prominent as the one I think that you just talked about. Like you said, it could have been either, uh, you know, you know, any sort of mix of two women. Um, so that's cool. Thank you for sharing that. I definitely understand the why there. Um, so right to the next question is, um, what do you think the message of the film is? The message would be to, ultimately, one of the themes is fear, right? And the main characters, um, she never gets to that point of facing that fear. Um, thankfully, I, I did. Um, because it's coming out and you know mm. they see this and they're like what the are you talking about you know so i had to make special present you know preparation to be like okay so this is happening and you might start to see some of this content come out um so i don't want you to be surprised so awesome this is the first coming out on play it forward oh really hopefully there will be many more yeah 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 so um and hence Outside of being busy, I also wanted to make sure that um, before I did this, that I had um, already put that out there. Yeah, um, thank you for both. You know, I really, you know, honor what you're doing as far as really the most important thing is being honest to your family, the people you love about who you are. I mean, it's, you know, really great. So that's one of the main messages is, um, you know, I found a lot of lightness in being from being my authentic self. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, granted I haven't there's still it's it's like a throwing a rock into a water and it's a ripple effect. So there's still more people that I need to you know um, tell this truth to. But um, some of the main people, my you know, main core family, immediate family know. And so um, it starts there and it's gradually getting a bigger pool of people um, are um, know this truth. And so the message is um, being able to move past that and live your life and uh, let that fear go. 
That's awesome. Thank that's you. That's awesome. Hopefully. Thank you. Hopefully. Um, especially so, if you have a so, family that's very religious, um, Southern Baptist. Or, I bet. I bet. Know, it, it's, yeah. I bet. And not that it's been bet. easy, but, you know, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Thank you for that. I think that's a great message. The last question is, what did you learn from making this film, either about yourself or the process of making movies? Or both? Um, um, I mean, overall, I guess, as you know, we kind of roll it out to certain audiences, just one for feedback, and is that it's not a film for everyone. And I'm okay with that. Like finding ways in which to be okay with that. Um, because ultimately at the end of the day, it's to date, I've made a lot of things. Um, it's the most beautiful, heartfelt, like from start to finish the whole process to where it's at now, it's more than what I could have imagined. Awesome. Thank you so much for um, having me. And um, this was a lot of fun. Cool. I'm glad you enjoyed We aim the please. And uh, tell next time, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Peace. Bye. 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 Julia, well done. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this week. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and leave us a like and or a comment. It makes a big difference. Plate Forward is brought to you by Digipops, where we're building a community to put film and filmmaker discovery in your hands. Here, filmmakers and fans, the creative class, recognizes each other fairly and transparently through a community-curated film festival each quarter. It's coming soon. Thank you.